Hi, right, welcome to another episode of Veterans Expeditions Overland uh, of our vehicle builds. Today what we're going to be working on is prepping a new chassis for our kitchen vehicle. So if you can, please subscribe to the channel down below and give us a thumbs up, give us a, a video thumbs up and follow our channel. Right, here we are. Uh, first job we've got to do, this is a Shielder 130 chassis uh, for a Defender and uh, we also get a bulkhead from Shielder as well uh, which was donated by Paul uh, free of charge to, to go with this. So, was, so Shielder is supporting the project. Uh, our first job today is we're going to get rid of all these stickers off of it first and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, Agitate it with uh, some uh, traffic film remover, getting rid of all the grease that's on the on the chassis itself, or any kind of road muck that's been put on it when it's been getting delivered. Uh, and that's the first task of the day. Okay, our first task now is to just wash the chassis down uh, before we start to use the screen, uh, the road film remover, uh, or traffic film remover. So Billy's just now uh, washing it down. Uh, getting anything off it and then we can start for the task with next, next task. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's important that we make a good job of this. This is uh, to future proof. That's my arm. This is all to future proof the uh, the chassis. So this is still gone in 20 years time. Uh, so it's important we get this clean and make sure it's ready for the next stage, which we'll do in a couple of days time. We'll let this get dried off. And then we'll do the next stage, uh, which we'll show you as well. All right, next stage. Now we've got the traffic film remover on. Uh, we'll just want to wash that off now. Then we're going to turn the chassis over and do the other side. Uh, and we'll, we'll make a good job of this and then we'll leave it for a few days. A day at least. It's not quite warm today so it should dry off pretty quick. We might even get an airline on it to make it process quicker. As soon as uh, yesterday or the day before we were uh, degreasing the chassis with a uh, traffic film remover. Now today Richard and Duncan are now putting a key into the chassis you see it was shiny the other day, it's, we're taking that shine off it uh, and then we're going to etch prime it so the task today is to get all this done then panel wipe it uh, get all the dust and everything off, any more uh, grease residue and then we'll etch prime it eh? yeah. yep, next stage so this is a ball ache job but a necessary one because this uh, what was that? Did I get that word right? N -n necessary one. Uh, what? We know what you meant. Aye, aye, somebody knew what I meant. So they've done most of this side, they've just got to turn it over and do the other side. And then uh, we're ready to etch prime. Well, ready to panel wipe then etch prime. And then we're going to leave that for a day. Maybe put it out in the sun, it's quite sunny out there. Get it uh, kind of off as much as we can. And then we will uh, start the painting tomorrow. So what Richard's up to the now, uh, we found there's a lot of uh, excess uh, of the galvey uh, that drips down so we're just clearing up everything because we're going to be working on this vehicle for many years and the last thing we want to do is catch our hands on sharp pieces as we're working on it. So it's important to get all that off. So it's all rubbed down now, we're just going through the final touches of 
any little spikes we can find, we're filing them down. Uh, so that's what we're up to now. Duncan's just getting some bigger bits off of the, uh, the grinder there. And, uh, and we're getting that, so we're just about ready to turn this over and do the other side. Alright, just blowing all the dust off now, and then we'll panel wipe this. And we're ready then for uh, etch priming it. Now the next stage is uh, that Duncan and Richard are doing is etch priming the chassis uh, so that we can get a, a good coat on this before we start the actual final coat. Uh, so there we go. So that's that's what they're looking through the now. Uh, and we'll leave this to dry overnight and we'll start the painting tomorrow. So we have now just uh, etch primed the chassis, uh, ready for the painting. So now it's in the drying stage. Uh, that, that's it, it's looking pretty good. So a good job. There we go. So it shouldn't take too long for this to dry. Uh, we'll leave this overnight, uh, ready for painting tomorrow morning. There we go, uh, chassis is completely done now with H Prime. Just doing the cross member there. And Duncan is prepping the bulkhead, which is down here. Uh, so that's going to be done as well. Uh, and that's us. So now we're just going to leave this for a day to dry. It's there on the dolly, it's pretty secure. And uh, you can see it there, it's all that's primed. We've shined the torch all the way through it, and it's all looking good. What you do is remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, it's really good for us, it allows more veterans to reach us. Uh, it grows the channel, plus if you get some, a lot of subscribers, we can get some money from it as well, which will be pumped back into the project.